So can I, uh, can anyone tell me what is the difference between ore and mineral? I'll just switch on my video. <clears throat> can anyone tell me? Uh, Manu, have you studied this chapter before? Metals and non-metals? No, sir. This chapter didn't start. <clears throat> okay, no problem. So I'm going to <clears throat> again explain from the previous class. This is occurrence of metal. As we know that <clears throat> metals are reactive. That's why they always exist in combined state. That means uh, with metals, there will be other component also like metal exists in metal oxide, metal exists in metal carbonate and in form of metal sulfide also. So there are two terms which is very important. This is mineral and this is ore. So see what is mineral? Any compound in which metal is present is called mineral. So the elements or compounds which occur naturally in our crust that are known as mineral. Basically in a compound if there is metal or element that is called mineral and what is ore? This mineral is called ore only when you are going to extract it extract the metal or the element profitably and conveniently. So the mineral which contains high percentage of particular metal and the metal can be extracted profitably, that mineral is only called ore. So every ore is mineral, but every mineral is not ore. Are you getting my point everyone? Amna? <clears throat> Manha? Yes, sir. Arshia? Yes, sir. Okay. So let me know whenever you have uh, doubt or if you don't get it. So see, what I write here, wrote here, every ore is mineral, but every mineral is not an ore. Because it is not necessary that every mineral contains high percentage of particular metal. That's why every ore is not uh, every ore is mineral, but every mineral is not ore. So how we are going to extract metal from ore, this is, we are going to study today. So basically, this uh, extraction is based upon reactivity. You have seen the reactivity series. Potassium is the most reactive, then sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminum. These are very high reactive and these are extracted from their ores with the process that is called electrolysis. Now this zinc, iron, lead and copper is moderate reactively. These are extracted with reduction using carbon. We will see how we are going to reduce. Does, um, can anyone define reduction? Martin, Arshia, Mana. You have studied this term in class in, uh, in this 10th class in first chapter. Can anyone define reduction? Yes, Mana, please speak up. Uh, sir, in which uh, the element loses the oxygen is known as reduction. Okay, this is in terms of oxygen. Can you define reduction in terms of hydrogen also? In this, so it gains. In this, it means hydrogen. Very good. There are two terms, oxidation and reduction. So basically, what is oxidation? <coughs> Addition or gain of oxygen. Gain of oxygen. Or in terms of hydrogen, we are going to like, write loss of hydrogen. <coughs> and reduction is addition or gain of <laughs> hydrogen and in terms of oxygen loss of oxygen so this is oxidis uh, this is reduction so basically moderate reactive element are extracted using reduction uh, with the reduction using carbon and 
the less reactive that is basically az au platinum these are found in free estate because they are very very less reactive is that clear to everyone can i change the slide yes so now see i am going to make a chart please write with me this is your the first is basically concentration of ore wait a minute wait a minute i am going to write it in a better way just wait a minute <clears throat> Now see here, dear. This is your basically we we also call it concentration of coal. Concentration of coal. This concentration of coal is divided into three parts. Either this concentration of coal contains metal with high reactivity, metal with moderate reactivity, and more metal with less reactivity. So we can write metals of high reactivity, metals of high reactivity. <laughs> and then metals of moderate reactivity or medium reactivity medium reactivity and then <laughs> metals of very low reactivity metals of low reactivity so in order to extract metal we divided this process in t, uh, three parts if the concentration of ore contains high reactive metals if the concentration of ore contains medium reactivity mat uh, reactive metals and if the concentration <coughs> of ore contains low reactive metals so there will be three methods to extract metals depending upon their reactivity so see how we are going to extract this metals of high reactivity we will do electrolysis we will do electrolysis of molten coal and then we will get pure metal after electrolysis we will get pure metal what is this electrolysis basically you are going uh, this is molten ore you are going to <coughs> convert the concentration of ore in molten state and then do electrolysis pass the electric current through that molten state of ore and you will get a pure metal i will explain it in a uh, more uh, explain uh, expl explanatory way after writing this chapter <coughs> <laughs> now see are you done with this please write up to this and let me know because the chart is uh, bigger everyone done with this please write it
Martin. Yes, sir. Are you done with this? I do. Completed, sir. <coughs> Very good. Abdullah. Mana, are you done with this? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> now see, after this, how we are going to extract metals of low reactivity? So see, metals of low reactivity, it generally contains sulfide ores. Sulfide ores. <clears throat> and this sulfide ores, we will we are gonna do roasting first and then you will get metal and, and after this after this metal you will get uh, you are going to do a refining and you will get your metal <clears throat> so first of all write this and you will get to uh, do you know what is sulfide ores does anyone have idea about sulfide ores Please let me know when you are done with this low reactivity. <laughs> Arshia Martin Manha yeah, Thank you Abdullah <clears throat> Now see About this Medium reactivity Generally They found in two types of ore. One will be carbonate ore and the second will be <clears throat> sulfide ore. Now this carbonate ore <clears throat> will be passed through calcination. We will see what is calcination. Calcination and this sulfide ore will go through roast and after this you will get <clears throat> oxides of matter oxide of metals and then when you will get oxide of metal then a reduction to matter then you are going to use carbon to reduce this oxides of matter that means you are going to remove that oxygen <clears throat> A reduction to metal and after this after this purification of matter purification of matter <clears throat> please write this and let me know when you are done with this then one by one we are going to I am going to explain and it's very easy
Done, sir. Very good, Mana. Arshia, Hamna, and Martin. Let me know. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Very good. Martin, are you done with this? <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> Martin, are you done with this? I do it, sir. Now see, after this, we have a topic. I'm going to review this uh, chart again. <clears throat> this purification of metal or extraction of metal from concentration of pores will be divided into three parts on the basis of reactivity. Metals of high reactivity will be extracted with the process that is called electrolysis of molten ore after electrolysis of molten ore, you will get pure matter. Now come to the point of metals with low reactivity. Metals with <coughs> low reactivity. What is this metals with low reactivity? Basically, <coughs> the metal which is very, very less reactive, unreactive basically, that is called metals with low reactivity. <coughs> Generally, they found in sulfide ores. They will combine with sulfide ores and it will pass through roasting, then you will get metal and then this metal will be purified. That is called, that is the method for metals with low reactivity. Now metals of medium reactivity will have two types of ore, carbonate ore and sulfide ore. Carbonate ore will process through calcination and sulfide ore process through roasting. Then you will get an oxide of that metal, oxide of that metal, oxide of metals. And then in, uh, this oxides of metal will be reduced using a, a reducing agent carbon reduction of metal and then purification of metal. Is that clear? Yeah. <clears throat> Very good. So basically what is roasting? Roasting is basically we are going to heat it below its melting point in presence of excess air. In presence of excess air that is called roasting and if you are going to heat in absence of air that is called calcination i will define it later but uh, right now we are going to see the next topic regarding this that is enrichment of force enrichment of force see what is this enrichment of force <clears throat> so you can write with me force Mind from Earth are usually contaminated, <clears throat> contaminated with large amount of impurities, large amount of impurities. As you, you can see, such as soil, dust, and everything, sand, dust, etc. etc. These are called gang. Are called gang. So if you have to write a definition about gang, what is gang? So the impurities present in O, you can also write. Impurities such as dust, soil, sand presenting O are called or are called. Gang. Is that clear? <clears throat> just suppose you have a coin and you just lost it nearby land where it, uh, it is soil. After some day, after a few days, you got it. What you will see, it will be covered with sand or soil and dust and everything. Uh, dirty, it will be dirty. That 
sand and dirt and uh, dust is called gas are you getting my point yes please write it so whenever you got course what you will do uh, for the first step if you got the point back and it is like uh, very dirty what you will do you will just wash it yes or no so that is the first yeah. step of the extraction of metal from ore <clears throat> so please write it and then i'm going to start from extracting of metals with low reactivity series or metals low react uh, active in series is everyone done with this completed sir very good man ha and answer very good man what yes. about you yeah completed sir very good so this was the definition of impurities and before extracting metals this is the first step you are going to do for the extraction of metal wash it so that all the dirt will be clean now see extraction x extraction of or uh, extraction or Yes, we can write extraction of metals low in activity series. Mano, you will see in NCERT there is a activity series sodium potassium. It uh, it is in decreasing order downward. Yes, sir. Low in the uh, low in activity series. so basically as i wrote it metals in low activity series so basically the metals are very very less reactive that means it is very unreactive so we can write a point metals low in the activity series in the activity series are very unreactive are very unreactive and generally the oxides of these metals can be reduced generally we can write upon the oxides of metals or, or the oxides of these metals that will be more specific the oxides of these metals can be reduced to metals only by heating alone heating alone so metal with low reactivity if 
it founds in oxides what you need to do is just heat it and you will get <coughs> metal into a state as i told you that metal with low reactivity has a ore of, uh, uh, will have a ore of sulfidos so i am going to take an example of metals with low reactivity hgs this hgs is known as cinnabar its name will be cinnabar the name of this ore is cinnabar what you are going to do heat it in the presence of oxygen what you will get you will get an oxide that is 2 hgo mercury oxide along with 2 so this will be in gaseous state and this will be evolved now this oxide again will be uh, again will be heated and now you will get the pure metal or the so metal with low reactivity first heat uh, can be extracted by heating alone metals with low reactivity will have sulfide ore first way where you are going to heat it in the presence of oxygen you will get metal oxide and after heating it again you will get the metal are you getting my point so we can write a point about this cinnabar is an ore of mercury when it is heated in air it is first converted into mercuric oxide that means hgo and then again this mercuric oxide hgo reduced to mercury alone reduced to mercury on further on further so this is very easy to understand if you still have any doubt please ask me write it first So can I rejoin from another device? Uh, what What you just said? You, can you I rejoin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you can. The battery is getting busy. Thank you.
Is everyone done with this? Is everyone done with this? Done, sir. Very good. Arshia? Yes, sir. Are you done with this? Manu, yes. Hamna, Martin. So how we yeah. extracted, very good, low reactive metals. So it's just by heating alone, you, we can easily extract metal. So you can see this is, uh, this mercury is low reactive. So we are going to heat it. You will get mercuric oxide and this SO2 sulfur dioxide will be evolved. Now, again, by further heating this mercury oxide, you will get the metal. Now, I'm going to take another example of this. So, similarly, we can write, focus here, similarly. Hmm. Copper, which is found in. which is found as basically Cu2S in nature, copper sulfide in nature, can be obtained from its pore by just heating in air, as we just did for mercury. So if we have copper sulfide like this, you can see, we are going to heat it. You know, this is solid, this is in gaseous state. And when you are will oxide of copper, and there will be evolution of sulfur dioxide. Again, you have to heat it or you can easily react this with this, you will get six copper and there will be evolution of this sulfur dioxide. So what we just did here, we just heat it alone and we will get our matter. So this is sulfide ore of copper reacting in the presence of oxygen and you are going to heat it, you will get oxide of copper and this oxide of copper will again react with this copper sulfide, uh, this sulfide of, uh, sulfide ore of copper and you will get matter, pure matter and this SO2 will be evolved. Let me know when everyone done with this.
everyone done with this martin or yes, sir complete yes, sir so this is the method to extract metal of low reactivity now we are going to extract extracting metals in the middle of in the middle of activity series to see what happens here it's very easy to extract metal of high reactivity and low reactivity as compared to middle active uh, middle reacting uh, medium reactive metals as we saw that as we just see that if there is low reactive metals you just need to heat it and you will get your pure metal you you will get the metal but in this middle activity of series the metals which present in middle of the activity series or which are moderately reactive this metals are found in two types of ores carbonate ores and sulfide ores so sulfide ores are basically reduced first uh, basically we are going to make oxide of sulfide ores that will be by the process that is roasting and carbonate by calcineous so i am going to write some points so the metals write with me iron zinc lead copper ah moderately reactive now basically this if you are going to extract this metal it will be tougher than low reactive metals so first of all the metal sulfides i'll write it uh, i'll write it first and then i'll explain the metal sulfides and carbonates converted into metal oxides first if you have sulfide ores you need to convert it into metal oxide and if you have metal carbonates then you also need to convert it into metal oxide and how we are going to do this so basically this sulfide ores will go through roasting and what is roasting i'm going to write it basically the sulfide ores are converted into oxide ores into oxides by heating strongly by heating strongly in presence of in presence of excess air so this is it basically if you have sulfide ores of middle reactivity series what you need to do is convert this sulfide ores into metal oxide convert this metal sulfides into metal oxides 
with the help of roasting and what is roasting basically roasting is the process in which sulfide ores are converted into oxide ores by heating it strongly or by strongly heating in presence of excess air that is called roast please write it and then i will go for calcineous that will be opposite of this which will be very easy Everyone done with this. Please let me know when you are done with this. Is everyone done with this? Done, sir. Very good. Martin. You are not. Very good. So see what happens if you have middle react, uh, medium reactive elements. So we have basically we will have two types of sulfide ores that uh, two types of ore that is sulfide ores and carbonate ores. If it is sulfide ores, it will go through roasting. What is roasting? Sulfide ores are converted into oxides by heating strongly in presence of excess of air. That is for sulfide ores. But, uh, because if you are going to convert it into oxide, then you can easily convert it into metal. So that's why we just convert it into, uh, into metal oxide. Now, calcination. Basically, this calcination takes place in carbonate ores, carbonates, then it will go through calcines. To see what is calcination, so basically, <clears throat> we can write the carbonate ores. are changed or converted into oxide by heating strongly by heating strongly in limited 
AS. So basically this is called calcination. If you have limited amount of air and if you are heating the carbonate red or that is converting into oxides, that is called cal calcination and what is roasting? <laughs> Sulfide ores converting into oxides by heating in presence of excess <laughs> air. So we can write a, a, a write an example. Please see this. If zinc is a sulfide or you can see ZnS. So we are going to react this with 3O2 in the presence of excess oxygen and it will be converted into zinc oxide solid and this SO2 will be evolved. Now this is roasting. So basically this is roasting and what is calcination? So basically I'm going to show you the calcination. So we have carbonate ore if ZN is, uh, ZNCO3. So we will not have this O2 in excess. It will be in minimum amount, limited amount. So this will be converted into ZNO and plus CO that will be in gases state. It will also be evolved. Please write this. <clears throat> Let me know when everyone done with this. Done, sir. Very good. Martin and Arshia. Yeah, done, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. So, see, I just wrote the calcination part and the <clears throat> roasting part. After this, we need to extract the metal. So, in order to extract the metal, the metal oxides will be reduced. The metal oxides are then <clears throat> reduced to corresponding corresponding metals by using suitable reducing it such as carbon carbon is more reducing as in so if you are going to uh, create this zinc oxide with carbon carbon is in solid state this is also in solid state so what will happen Carbon will reduce zinc oxide to zinc and it will form CO2 gas and it will be evolved. Please write this.
let me know when you are uh, done with this. everyone done with this so in the next done, class sir. we are going to end this chapter definitely and does anyone have any doubts from today's class uh, especially manha uh, did you get whatever i yes, okay Martin, do you have any doubt? Okay, no. so this is it for today. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next class and complete this chapter. After that, we will start the next chapter. Okay, carbon and its compound, which is very important chapter.